Welcome to our ECD2 project, Green Hexa Units. We started the fabrication process with a blank piece of wool. We have added measurements and cut it using the wheel saw. Done some chamfering, grouped the parts, glued them for a few days, and finally we got our frames ready. To fabricate our LED unit, we had to cut fiberglass using laser CNC machine. We have installed our LED RGB light strips and done some soldering on the beginning and end of each part. We have joined those parts using wires to get finally our LED colorful unit shining. Okay, it was quite bright. To fabricate our shading unit, we had to do more wood laser cutting and copper tube hand sewing. This way, we have created our axial shading leaves, where we have done three of them and attached them to the main body. At that time, where people were fighting coronavirus, we were at home fighting with kitchen knives to engrave the wood and install our servo motors to get a functioning shading unit. To control the units, we used the following circuit attached to Grasshopper Firefly and the Human UI workflow. In the manual mode, you can set the unit to the color that you want and it will directly change, for example green or blue. You can also manually control the shading unit by setting the angle and it will simultaneously change. For the automatic mode, you can select the plant type either lattice, corinder or basil, switch the units to auto, set the age and the units will be automatically controlled. At this stage, the light sensor will be reading the light intensity. If it is low, the shutters will be open and the LED light will be strong. Otherwise, the shutters will be closed and the LED will be dimmed if the light intensity is high. For testing purposes, we have planted leaves and lattice into two trays. Both of them were treated equally inside the living room without the direct sunlight. Instead, one tray was subjected to our LED unit while the other was subjected to a regular desk lamp. We have recorded our observations and attached our conclusion. During our studio project, we have designed a special distributing system that changes the distribution according to different climate zones. We have tried and tested this system on surfaces and roofs of different buildings and three different sites. According to that, we got the following results. Finally, this was our presentation and thank you for watching.